Most of us use a computer on a daily basis. But even for the most experienced, there are moments of exasperation. Incomprehensible jargon and confusing error messages can leave you feeling deeply frustrated. In an age when even nursery children may have access to computers, there are parents who can't engage with their children's learning because they've never had the time or need to learn about computers. Or simply because they don't like them. For them, help is at hand. There are a lot of parents out there that don't have access to computers, even if they do have one at home. They feel a bit intimidated by the way their children or people at home try to teach them, which is not very sympathetic to their beginner's needs. The Laptop Library is a programme run by the City Learning Centre in Lambeth. This course has been run at Kingswood Primary School in Norwood for the next six weeks, one day a week. It's an excellent way of engaging parents in their children's learning and bridging that digital divide. And also it's about friendships and confidence and starting points for parents' careers back into work and to education. A big focus of the Laptop Library is family. On the course now we've got some grandparents, we've had aunties sometimes, and dads. The first week is about getting their mouse skills together and making them feel that it's a, quite a warm, friendly atmosphere. They're not going to be asked to do something that they feel uncomfortable about. The first programme that parents do is a programme that, that children have in the nursery, Too Simple, which is a drawing programme. But there are teachers' options on it, so you can hide a lot, you can make it very simple. This week, which is the second week, is a week that we introduced Microsoft Word. To recap from what we did this morning in Microsoft Word, making your little CV. This afternoon we're going to be formatting the text. These are some of the words we're going to be using. And at the end of the day, you can write them on your vocabulary sheets as part of your accreditation. Yeah. There's an accreditation attached to this course. It's an entry level in word processing. Format. So um, the parents get to make a CV about themselves and insert a photograph. And that's where we can differentiate quite a lot yeah. because we, they can then add as much as they want. Some people might choose to maybe add, add nothing at all, but for others that want to really get going with their writing, they can. Click on your name twice. So that family learning is given a high profile in the schools, the recruitment strategy is to tell every early year's teacher what we're doing and for it to be reinforced at staff meetings. Otherwise, you don't recruit. So we really rely on the teachers and the children. There are some people in that room today that haven't touched a computer before. So it's about self-esteem as well. You know, I can see there's a couple of shaky hands when they're trying to manipulate their mouse. Take it up to the top of the page a little bit. Go right into the middle of the, the picture. Click and hold. I've been using the manual typewriters because I used to be a secretary, but it was almost time for me to retire. Uh, you could make it a little bit smaller. Well, I want to be computer literate and um, to help my grandchildren. I've got no choice for you know, this is 2008. So people who can't use computers these days, really, it's a rarity really, you know? I, I actually hate computers. I've got no, no affinity towards those machines at all. Just to be able to use a computer, for me that's an achievement. It's all nice when you've got somebody with you, you know? Okay. On, your, on your own, it's a different story. This morning, we changed the original document. What would be quite nice now is to keep that document and make another document. And to do that, we may do a save as. They always have very simplified pictorial handouts with very few words. We try not to use jargonistic language and take it very slowly. So if you'd like to go to your classrooms and get the children, OK, then we'll see you in five. In the afternoon, it was their turn to teach the children what they'd learned in the morning. So they become the teachers. We tend to target the early years. I guess they're like little sponges at that age. Done it. We've got some in the nursery, a few in reception, a couple of year ones and a couple of year twos. I think anything above that would be a bit difficult to differentiate for the children. You can talk together about it. Kieran, maybe you could now click where do on we that. Go? Click on the camera for mommy. Yeah. On the picture of the camera. On the, the biggest thing you can do for your child is to talk to them. And this is a fine opportunity for parents to have that one-to-one -one with their child. If children don't have the language, 
it will not be able to progress in the literacy and numeracy. Right, what should we put your picture down as? Oh, laptop. Yeah. Hopefully parents that don't have English as their first language will nurture their home language. It's about speaking to your children in whatever language you have. I think I need a bit of a reminder. Go and take that to the printer. I think it's best if mummy carries it though. It's like having a baby. It's quite precious and it's quite delicate. Oh, you started on BMP, but I've got five children all together. And you don't get five minutes to yourself, but I think it's about time I am um, caught up with the times and then I'll be able to help them with his homework. Print? We've got a computer at home because my son needs one for school, but he needed some help with his homework. I spent two hours trying to help him, and I just had to give up in the end because I just didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so it's to give me confidence to help them and to help me get a job in the future. Wow. It was quite a lot that I took in today because uh -huh. it's just the second week, you know. But I enjoyed it. I really feel like I'm getting some information about today's technology, which is what I want to learn. What can I see? Going back about maybe four or five years, every week we used to take all the equipment back to our office. And it wasn't such an effective course back then because the parents didn't have a chance to reinforce what they'd learned through the day. It's nice. Yeah, it is it's nice. It's nice. The thing is to practice it tonight when you yeah. get in. So every adult on the course gets to take the laptop home to keep for the duration of the course. Sometimes parents are a bit scared of borrowing the expensive equipment, so they've all got my phone number so they can get in touch with me any time they want. So I'm just going to come round and give you each a CD. And these are called Living Books. And they're lovely interactive electronic books that you can look at with your children at home. When the children leave, the parents' speech issued with a, an electronic book and shown how to um, operate it. They installed it into the computers. And when they go home, they'll have a nice surprise for their children. Be in your programme list, start and programme. So you should find Living Books, yeah? There's one other thing we've got to do today. You've got two post-its. I'd like you to take the yellow post-it, as we did last week, and I want you to write something that you've enjoyed about today. How do you record confidence and how people feel? Yes. On this course, we're quite lucky because we can record the ICT outcomes. Making a ladder or a tree and get them to stick where they, how far up the tree they are, just to show progression. Okay. Confidence so is such a big thing on this course, better. and it's catching it. Evidencing it on paper. Oh, you <laughs> right on the top. <laughs> I'm in the middle. <laughs> in the middle for the second week, but I'm rising. <laughs> today in the middle. Yeah, it wasn't too bad today. I got into my file and, you know, got to save my programs and save my work and then print it off. So I didn't get too lost today, which was good. I'm in the middle now. <laughs> I've gone up a step. <laughs> There's your camera. Yeah. When you go home, plug this in because you might find these already charged up. Next week we'll be looking at having fun with the photographs. We've got a nice little photo editing programme. We'll look at the publisher in week four and they'll get to make a set of snap cards. That leads into week five, which is T-shirt making. And they get then they reinforce their skills in publisher, find an image that they want to put on their T-shirt. Bye, guys. Yeah, the brain is like a rusty bike and you're trying to push on the pedals and, and the, the chain is all creaking, you know? That's what it feels like in there. There's one more positive thing about it, actually. Tonight, work is, compared to that, it's going to be, like, easy. We've got an evaluation activity for you to do. Before you do it, you're going to be interviewing each other. And I want you to think of two skills that you've learned while being on this course. And then we go on. To last afternoon session, we're going to be doing an evaluation activity where they interview each other and just talk about where they're going to be going next. Maybe I'm not quite ready to move to advanced, I would say, but uh, I could do with another starting course, definitely, yeah. How far would you like to take this? Yeah, well, I'd like to do another course. I think everyone probably has um, managed to complete their work. Their folders will all go up to the internal moderator. 
and the external moderator, and um, maybe in about a month or two's time we'll get the certificates back. Issues that may stop you from moving on? As long as Nicky goes to school and I can pick him up from school, there is no issue. Okay. And Jane, how do you feel about your learning? Are you, um... I've learned a hell of a lot um, during this course. Um, it's been good working with everybody as well, yeah. as a togetherness, yeah. rather than everyone separate. One of the biggest things that comes from Laptop Library is uh, the confidence and friendships that's formed within the groups and that feeling of being welcomed within the school building. And um, learning, which is the learning of something new to me, but not to my child, but to me. I feel very happy and proud of the course because I've been looking forward to, you know, doing a real computer course and this has helped me a lot. Yeah. So now I'll be like, I knew I was useless at computers, but now, on top of things, I really know what I'm up against because I've had a good idea, a good look at what it's all about, you know? Quite good now. Very high, I think. In fact, I've gone over <coughs> what I expected I was going to go over. Fantastic. Can I introduce to you Joanne Dufus from King's College? All right, Kingswood Group, thank you all for coming. I suppose this is your last session, yeah? Yes. And I'm so pleased to see everyone is very confident. We get King's College to come in and do a progression session, and hopefully, maybe a week after that, they're off up to Waterloo to start a new course. I'm here today to offer you an opportunity of your life. We provide adult learning opportunities to, to prepare for employment and study, yeah? So what you've done here with Val, you've just had the taster. Right, first of all, we do key skills. So if you want help with your English, your maths, um, and also you get a qualification. Loads of people have moved on. They've got their level ones, level twos, ICT, communication skills, employment skills, and they're in work now. A lot of them are working in the primary schools as teaching assistants or school support staff. The only thing it will cost you is your travel to come to King's College University. To be a teaching assistant now, you've got to have a certain level of literacy and numeracy and ICT, so I think this one learner is using that as a stepping stone. We also have two mealtime supervisors on our course, and they might end up being TAs as well. We've got Maria and Holly Ann. I want to do a teaching assistance course in September, so I'm doing maths and literacy at the moment and the computer course. I just finished a parenting course as well, so... It's all courses all the way at the moment. <laughs> Jane Dixon. <laughs> It was really interesting because I never knew I would be able to do such, you know, in my lifetime. Uh, this is my, my T-shirt I printed, <laughs> so I'm putting it on. <laughs> my son, Kieran, he's quite good at the computer. Now I'm sort of show him a few things now where he was showing me before. We've got Lawrence and Louis. I did enjoy it, actually. Uh, even though I've been struggling, for many things, I still enjoyed it very much, yeah. We've got Pamela Parks and Tiara. The teachers are very good, very understanding, they've got karma. You know, being adults, it's really hard to start learning again. So when you're in this, in this environment, especially in the school environment, it's easy to pick up and find confidence with other parents who didn't understand computers as well. That was good. Laptop library. Is that it?